Your feel-good music on the breeze. It's devastating. None of us realised it was going to be quite this long. It was just unbelievable. I had no idea things like this could happen. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe was detained in Iran as she tried to return home from holiday six months ago with her daughter Gabriella. Since being stopped in April, she's faced a secret trial and on the 9th of September was sentenced to five years in prison. It's still unclear what the 37-year-old has been convicted for. I'm six months now, there's almost like a new normal for me now. And, and whereas at the beginning it was a great shock and, and a whole range of emotions, now it's more of a sort of a long-term campaign. Back in the UK, life is having to carry on as normal for the Ratcliffe family who aren't giving up hope on Nazanin and Gabriella's return. Their story has made local, national and international headlines as the fight continues to get them home. Campaign group, including Amnesty International, are backing their cause. She received an unfair trial. It was a travesty of justice. Um, and unless the charges um, against her are made clear, um, unless she's put through a process of a fair trial that meets international standards, then we believe the sentence should be quashed and she should be released immediately. Nas is such a big part of our family. Um, and so there's a big hole missing, so we all do our best yeah, to get it. It's difficult to know what's keeping Nasanin going because I think they're, they're doing their best to squash any hope she has in, in prison, aren't they? The longer this goes on for, the harder it is to, to rebuild your life back. You know, rediscover yourself a simpler one, which is just to say to Nazi, you're, you're not alone, and, and lots of people out there care for you, and and, and you've not been forgotten, um, and and that that is a message that will go on until such time as, as they're both home.